Hey guys, welcome back to another High Kappa video. In this video, we're going to install an AIP hammer pad. We're going to have a quick look at what it does and how we fit it. So let's get cracking straight into it. This is my Jungle Cat build. Very recently done this. I've not even managed to game this one yet. Uh, but that doesn't stop the upgrade train from rolling. So we're going to pop something out there. Click it down. You bugger. Patch comes. Nice tight fit, as you can see on the gold match frame there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to work on the very back of the pistol here. That needs lowering down a bit, doesn't it? Oh dear, that needs lowering down a lot. Must not have been concentrating when I did this one. There we go. Can't have loose things. Right, okay. So let's get that undone. So why do we want to put a hammer pad in? Well, it's to protect this bit this bit and potentially the very back of the frame there. Uh, all it is is just kind of a padding so it kind of in, interacts with the hammer as opposed to my really expensive slide. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove that very short screw there and we're going to swap over and you are going to have a spare screw because the very short screw won't go back in because the hammer pad has its own special screw. So the hammer pad is ended. There we go. So you've got a solid end and a rolled off end here. And as you look at the gun, this goes to the top towards the sights and this goes towards the bottom towards the BBU. So what we'll do is we'll pop that through there. And the main idea with this being that the hammer hits this as opposed to hammer hitting that. So I like to just drop a screw in, which just holds that in place, pick it up, chuck it in and completely mess it up because I'm doing it one handed. There we go. So you can see there that's just kind of dropped in. Um, we'll just tighten that up. There we go. Screw that down into there. And there we go. Tighten that down a little bit. Doesn't need to be crazy tight, just enough. There we go. So hammer pad has been fitted. Now, one of the things a lot of people do find with installing this hammer pad is if you imagine as your hammer travels it comes all the way up God, there we go it goes boom all the way up there but what the pad does is it spaces it back just that little bit so you don't get the full force going into that knocker so what a lot of people will kind of report as an issue when you install one of these pads is light striking and that's effectively where the hammer just doesn't have enough power going into it. So what we're going to do, we're going to preemptively solve that. Now, I did have this problem with my Battle Cat build, and that's actually where this hammer pad came from. I've swapped now. AIP now do a black uh, hammer pad, which is very, very nice. And that has gone straight into my uh, Battle Cat build. And that's freed up this silver one. So we're going to whip that off. We're going to... Hold that down, just take that out, and we're going to do the old BB trick. So what you can do is you just push down on the plunger there, get the little pin out. Got to be really careful with this pin not to lose it. Look at that, you are crying. Take that out, and then you pick one of your finest BBs. This one is a 0.3 gram BB, and I'm going to put it inside there and that's just going to give that stock hammer spring a little bit more venom pop it back in there so to do this bit ooh, they do like to go for a run so to do this bit what i do is i hold it in there and it's just a case of pushing down fast push a little pin in and away we go and that's only got to hold it until we get it back in so then we'll come back over here, that's down, flip it over, drop it in, up we go. And that just puts a bit more force downwards on there, beavers in, put a lot more force on there now as well, which is kind of nice, but not all at the same time, because I can't uh, hold it. Hold that down, wrap that on through done 
There we go. So now that hammer just hits with a little bit more venom. Um, what that means is that we're not going to have light striking issues. What it does mean is that it might release a little bit more gas or air, which isn't the end of the world. Um, we can deal with that as we come to it. We're running quite a long barrel in this one. So I've got a slightly shorter barrel that I can swap that in for, just in case we do run into some FPS issues. I'm going to get that level now. I hate it when the pin sticks out further one side than the other. There we go. Pull that back. Pull that in. Pull it on. Back we go. See the DP booking in there, which I'm getting around strong. Oh, yeah, different sound. And that's changed the tone completely. There we have it. Hammer pad has been fitted. Screw goes in your spares box. Thank you very much guys if you've made it this far with me please do hit that like button drop me a comment tell me what you think to the uh, to the to the la kappa jungle cat i quite like it i'm looking forward to using this pistol not much to use it yet uh, we do have some more parts on the horizon right now as well so please do keep an eye out for that as well as some more gameplay footage coming please do hit that subscribe button and follow me on my youtube journey and i will catch you guys in the next one